I've been going through some therapy recently. Um, working on clearing my emotions and um, clearing my emotions. That sounds bad. <laughs> um, more like, I know we all have like traumas and pains and past experiences that we don't want. And um, I've been really trying to work through that recently with therapy. And um, as well as like listening to a lot of stuff online about, um, you know, emotions and how they help, you know, just clear the past. And yeah, it was dark and um, sun's coming up now. But um, yeah, I was like, OK, I, I can't sleep. I can't, I've got these things on my mind now which I haven't thought about for many many years and locked them away you know in like a box and recently I've unlocked them I guess to deal with and yeah it's just personal stuff so I'm not going to get into details but I couldn't sleep you know I was wide awake and I wasn't tired and and I was like you know, been going through these emotions and clearing and and I was like, okay, oh, I've got an idea. I'll do some breath work and that'll help clear. And then I remembered that I hadn't actually tried the Breathe With Me session on the RX-1 yet, the light machine, which is an audio, if you don't know, it's an audio visual uh, entrainment device using light and sound. So it's a synchronized tracks that are um, synchronized with the sessions, the light sessions, and uh, done, guy, but, uh, done by a good friend of mine, um, a guy called uh, Lance Carter, a good friend, and uh, he's of course, you know, amazing therapist, very much into like, breath work, and you can hear him on this uh, track, on this audio track uh, with the light, um, going you through some breath work, you know, breathing in, using your mouth like <sighs> and what that's doing is clearing emotional like crap basically to deal with and it's you know we all need therapy you know it's like you take your car for a service or MT every year um, you know you go to the gym to work your muscles you know you you read to learn um, you know you eat to be healthy uh, you know or at least eat the right foods to be healthy but what do we do to keep us our mental health in, you know intact you know important and um, you know way to do that is therapy you know and you don't necessarily always need um, somebody like present you know especially your emotional stuff you can do this all yourself because you know, you own these emotions. And if you're wondering where I am, by the way, I'm just I'm on my bed. I have the light machine above me. This is like straight after the session I've just, just done. And I thought I'm processing it as I'm, as I'm talking about it. The personal stuff in my head, but I can verbalize what's happened. Um, yeah, like for me, I think it's important to have that balance. Like it's important to speak to somebody. We need that social contact. And with lockdown and everything that's been happening in this past 12 months, this past year of 2020 and 2021, um, you know, a lot of people have been inside, locked in their homes, you know, inside. And it's done good to the world and it's done bad. Like, people realise how much their mental health is compromised now and how much they need help emotionally. And because people haven't been going out and getting drunk and masking themselves up with drugs and alcohol and they can't leave and they had to deal with what's at home um some people are in real bad situations you know i guess abusive relationships or families or whoever they live with you know these things happen you know people who are manipulative and you know i've been there many times with people i know what that's like um and that's the thing that I've learned recently is that that life is about relationships 
and not just romantic ones or ones that you know people you find attractive and you love and you know you want a, a partner it's about friends you know family colleagues pets neighbors relationship with yourself all these things are are relationships you know and people it's people are the the problem of the world you know but also the gifts you know I'm not saying everyone is bad it's just it depends how we deal with those situations and our emotions and how honest we are to ourselves and and people and and it's about self-respect as well you know I consider myself a good person and I've let people in too close too soon without getting to know them and yeah, sometimes that doesn't always work out. Um, you know, people leave you. <laughs> people leave me. Um, for their own reasons. Or their own traumas. Or drama. Or emotions come up. And people just seem to just, I don't know, abandon, you know. And what are they really running away from? They're running away from themselves, not the other person. So recently I've had a, a few epiphanies, you know, uh, dealing with all this emotional stuff and clearing and it's been good times because I've been working a lot and on my own and I've been doing a lot of driving for, for work and in that I've had a lot of time to think, and to reflect and seeing the beautiful sunrises and sunsets and nature around and contemplating what's been happening and and in all the time free time so much free time that I've had to myself I've been listening to a lot of emotional clearing stuff and it's really helped and all these things come hand in hand to help other people you know for retreats and events and healing knowing that what well, I've been through a lot of stuff in life that I can help other people so yeah I just thought I'd record this um, you may not find this interesting um, but this is all about healing, you know, sound and light. And uh, a few people messaged me recently about my channel on YouTube saying, hey, like, what, you're doing all these, you know, Roxiva diaries now. I was like, well, yeah, because this is life. Like, this is emotions, which is important, you know. And it's all healing. Uh, I mean, you don't have to watch these, but if you have, if you got this far, <laughs> then... Um, you know, life is about clearing. Um, I probably sound a bit all bunged up at the moment. You know, a bit of a cry. So the the breath work really helped, and it's not just the the audio. I mean, the light helps me to. When you're releasing that breath, and you're holding it, you're immersed in these colours, which gives you. A whole different different feeling you know experience of the experience of, of the session you know it's like amplified the it's amplified the um, the emotions and allowing to clear so yeah nothing much else to say it's just need to do more of these <laughs> So, yeah, I've been trying to get in the habit when I can of uh, doing more light and sound sessions before I wake up. That's not always possible because I start like work really early, so I have to get up like you know ridiculous times in the morning, but I start work much later today, so um yeah, I had time, which is good, you know value these times. And what better place to do it than my bed, like, under the stars, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to go now and contemplate a little bit more and have some water, have a shower and rinse all this uh, emotional stuff off. <laughs> Sun's coming up now, so, yeah. Um, speak soon. Bye.